What's up Tube Tube? Welcome to Lo Guido's Chop Shop, second best gel blaster channel on the tubes. Today I've got a APS V2 gearbox uh, that I am going to be stress testing. So I'm basically I'm going to be running the standard spring, giving it a burl for a few minutes, then upgrading to a uh, M120 and giving it a burl until it dies and we will find out the weak structure points of the APS gearbox uh, by destroying it. Um, if you have watched my previous video on the uh, T238 brushless motor then you would have already seen a little bit of this um, but there is going to be some new footage that was unseen in the uh, previous video. There is also going to be some of the old footage that I've recycled <laughs> for the purpose of this video. So uh, apologies if you've already seen a few bits, but there is going to be some new bits because I am going to be focusing on the internal breakages in this video. Uh, I am still running the T238 brushless motor inside there. Um, and let's let's get going let's send it now I've got here an APS gearbox that I was going to destroy for scientific reasons um, and I think this is a good opportunity alright does anyone out there recognize this grip if you do if you're one of my subscribers you may recognize this grip and um, you might know that when this grip comes out bad things are about to happen so um, I've got a pretty standard run of the mill motor here. I'm just going to whack that one in first and um, and we'll run it up and we'll see how she goes. We're going to run this for a minute then I'm going to up it to a M120. We'll run it for a minute. We'll take notes of the current draw uh, and we'll also take notes of just how the motor sounds and and what the you know whether it sounds like it's struggling to do the job or not. Then I'm going to do the same thing uh, with the uh, brushless motor and we'll compare you know, current draws and, and just what the motor generally sounds like if it sounds like it's struggling to pull the load. As an added benefit we'll probably destroy this APS gearbox in the process. Um, this is straight out of the box and I'll be honest, I've already had to jig the shimming a bit because it was terrible. Um, I haven't spent a lot of time getting it perfect, so something's probably going to break. <laughs> Let's be honest. That'll just be an added bonus. Alright, so, um, ear pro on, eye pro on. Here we go. Something, something has already stopped there. Oh wait, no, that could just be the... Something's already stopped. Already. Alright, let's see what is going on there. Okay, well I was expecting a failure, but I wasn't expecting a failure this soon, and I wasn't expecting a failure of this type. Uh, nothing actually broke. What happened is the pinion gear actually um, worked its way up and jammed into the gear allowing it not to turn anymore. I think we'll move it up to the 120 now because we got the data. I think we got enough data from the uh, from the stock spring. Let's ramp it up. Let's go. Send it. Alright so we've got the uh, M120 in now. We're going to send it. We're going to Take note of the uh, current and what it sounds like, and then we'll whack in the brushless. All right, ear pro on. Here we go.
That sounds tough. Things, I think we've got a max of 27 there. Look like an average of around 16 amps. I'm sorry, my actual ammeter was a little bit overexposed in the footage, um, so it's hard to read. But um, I'll fix that up for the next round. And now we'll whack the brushless in. All right, let's send it. Let's send it and also probably destroy this APS gearbox. <laughs> All right, keep an eye on um, the current draw on this. All right, ear pro on, eye pro on. Ready? Contact. Wow, listen to those RPMs. Oh. Something just died. All right, I think, um, just judging by the fact the tablet plate's still moving and all the gears are still turning, but the, the uh, piston's not Pistoning, I believe we might have lost a rack gear. Okay, let's assess the damage. I did uh, see a piece fly out the back of the gearbox, um, which looked like it came from here, so it's probably part of the piston, I imagine, um, given that the gears were still spinning, but the thing wasn't reciprocating. I'd say that's a fair chance. There's always one more screw. Um, also, I think I can see the, the start of what appears to be a hairline fracture in the front of this box here. So that's probably not going to last too much longer either. Um, Alright, so here's the, here's the culprit. Um, we've just lost our just lost our lead tooth there. Um, it's not the end of the world. I can just throw a new plunger in, new piston, um, and we'll continue with the destruction. All right, got a new piston in. Got the brushless motor back in. I'll tell you what's blowing my mind about this brushless motor. Um, listen, listen to this. Like, I can barely, barely hear anything but the piston slapping. Like I don't hear any gear noise or anything. No whine from the motor, nothing. Just the slap of the piston. That's blowing my mind. Ear pro on. Uh, Let's send it. M M120. There is things. There is things coming out. <laughs> <laughs> things coming out of this gearbox. All right. <laughs> There's things coming out. Did you? I don't know if you saw. There was, there was something being chewed to pieces in there. Um. Still no deep destruction of the gearbox, but. There was little bits of black stuff coming out everywhere. I can only assume being that it's black, 
that it must be part of the cylinder head? Or was it the... No, it must be the cylinder head. That's weird. Alright. That, um... That... Hairline crack is getting bigger though. It's getting bigger. So far it's been all the internals failing though. Um, it's really hoping for some destruction. It's, it's clearly going. It's on its way out, but... Um, first it's got to take out all the other little pieces of the internal components. What is that? Oh! Oh! It's the piston! It's the piston head! Oh man, there's the... There's the... The piston head has just clean broken off. The, the bits that are coming out are the O-ring. The O-ring getting chewed to... Chisel. Some viewers might be saying, but but Guido, didn't you just fit that piston head onto the new uh, piston? Isn't it your shoddy workmanship that's caused this to come apart? Isn't it that you didn't attach it properly or something? Uh, and and you know, and fair, fair that you would say something like that. But, but let me bring this to your attention right here. Look. I mean, I mean, technically. The screw that attaches the piston head to the piston is still attached, technically, see? See, there's the piston there. It's still attached to it. <laughs> it's, it's, the screw is still attached to the piston, but the, the rest of the piston has just disintegrated. But that is where it screws in, so it was not as if it wasn't screwed in properly because it is still screwed in. It's just the rest of it has disintegrated. If I'm taking anything away from this, it's probably that um, APS pistons, or at least the APS piston in this gearbox is absolute garbage. Um, all right, well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace this piston head uh, and send it the rest of the way home. Send this gearbox to gearbox hell because I reckon with this brushless motor and with this M120 spring I reckon it's only got another minute left in it and I think I've, well, let's face it, we've only torched it for um, maybe two, two or three minutes because it, it's usually not lasted the full minute before something implodes. Alright, here we go, let's take this apart and assess the damage well there's a lot of um, shredded plastic in there um, oh look there's the o-ring um, the pit the piston probably would have been alright if the piston head didn't just leave it behind. Um, in fact, it's probably got just enough life left in it to uh, finish this gearbox off, I reckon. Uh, let's have a look inside the cylinder, because somewhere in there there's got to be the, the remains of this piston head. Oh, look. There's some of it, and... There's the rest of it. Look, look at this. Man, this is... So, so that's, there's the bit that's meant to be on the other half of that. It's just disintegrated. It's turned into... just turned into mush. Alright, well, I'm gonna um, clear out the remaining bits of o-ring and shredded 
piston head from this gearbox. Reassemble it with a new piston head and hopefully send it home to its rightful location in the bin. All right, well, um, well it turns out I'm just gonna use a, use a whole brand new uh, piston and rack and everything because um, despite I th the fact I think this one might survive a little bit longer, um, I don't have a head, so I'm just gonna go whole new rack, head, assembly, everything, and let's send it. I do just want to bring this to your attention though as well, um, just here. Notice this is bowing. This is uh, from the spring pressure on the on the retainer pushing back against the back of this box. That's going to break. That is almost breaking point. So that's not going to last much longer. All right. I pro on and ear pro on, guys. We got the M120 spring in here. We got the new piston, the rack. Uh, we got the brushless motor in. We're going to send it to its doom. Uh, I've already pointed out there is damage that's that's pretty much fatal. Let's give it to it. Um, contact. Oh, it's in semi. <laughs> contact. All right, well, we stopped. Why did we stop though? I was expecting a massive failure. It's definitely uh, not doing as well as it should be, but let's, let's take a look at why we've stopped. All right, popping the uh, T238 brushless motor out. It's um, it's a little warm, not too hot. Uh, pinion gear looks fine, no problems there. All right, now let's have a look inside the gearbox. See what mysteries lie within. Um, trying to do it without. Getting all the gears falling out everywhere. All right, so what has gone wrong? Well, the tupper plate is bending. That's not a ideal situation, but I don't know if that's the problem. The piston, the brand new piston that I just popped in, is still in. Great condition, although a little greasy. Um, oh, okay. There, there we, there we have it. Can you see that? Um, the teeth have sheared completely off the bevel gear to the spur gear connection. There, there is only three teeth remaining of the whole gear. Um, that not doing anyone any favours. Uh, there's one tooth there. The remaining teeth seem to be uh, scattered around inside here. You can see that. So now that is a physical failure of a gear. So, uh, I mean, 
there's no real amount of shimming or anything that you could do to prevent that from happening <laughs> once that uh, once that kind of fails like that you you kind of not much you can do everything else still seems like it's in pretty good nick uh, in terms of gear wise how'd the, the spur go? yeah the spur seems Spur seems alright, um, just sheared the teeth off there. Uh, however, that is not the end of the damage. As, as you can see here, we're still looking not real crash hot uh, in, the, in the spring retaining area there on that back half of the box. And on this front half of the box, um, If you can see, there is a hairline crack that has almost made its in, in way entirely through the front housing. So that is not going to hold on much longer. And um, I didn't want to flip this over without, without losing all the gears and everything. Um, you might be able to see a similar crack appearing in the bottom half of the gearbox as well. So, not looking good thus far. However, uh, in the interests of destruction, I am going to fix this, I'm going to replace this gear and I'm going to finish it off. I want to see that, I want to see that gearbox break. So yeah, I will um, clean this up, pop a new bevel in and uh, continue with the destruction. Alright, so um, the uh, Busted bevel's been replaced, just with another equivalent. And let's send this again with the M120. Uh, hopefully, this is going to be the end of it. Alright. Here we go. Ear pro on, eye pro on. Hoping for a big failure. Okay, well, that looks like another gear failure, another gear failure, um, but oh man, can you see this, can you see this, this crack is getting so big, it's um, look I'm legitimately surprised it's still on there to be honest, um, we got a big crack that side, we got a big crack this side, there's quite a bit of oil coming out because I did uh, I did put a bit of fresh oil in when I changed the uh, gears and o-ring and everything last so that's why there's a lot of oil coming out but um Man, I'm kind of suspecting that there's another gear failure, but I was honestly I was hoping for the front of that box to pop off. You can see there's not much life left in it. There's definitely not much life left in it. I'm genuinely surprised that uh, <laughs> that it's lasted this long. 
Okay, damage cam. Unsurprisingly, I had a similar failure to last time, being that I replaced it with a similar gear. We've only lost three teeth instead of seven this time. Um, you can, I don't know if you can tell, let me, let me zoom in on these. You can tell the one that I did replace it with did look slightly higher quality than than the original one. Let me zoom in a bit. Okay, so I replaced it with this one. Uh, it did look slightly higher quality than this one. Uh, to be honest, the way I chose that was to grab a bevel from a random box of bits and just get a, a vernier measurement on, on the thickness of this versus the thickness of this. Got the one that was the same thickness as as the one that was uh, in there so that I didn't have to change the shimming too much. Uh, why wouldn't I go for a better gear set? Because I don't want to put too much good, too many good parts into this soon to be destroyed box. I mean, if you can see this crack here, we're not far off of complete destruction of this box. I kind of thought that this gear might last um, to see out the destruction, but I was wrong. So we've got another bevel. <laughs> We're down another bevel. All right, what else have we got? All right, back together now. Um, now, I, uh, I've lost track of how many minutes this has been on for because it seems I go, I go for a couple of minutes and I lose a gear or I lose a piston or I lose a piston head or a rack or something internal fails um, and if anything so far the major downfall of the APS gearbox has been the internals the <laughs> internals have just been garbage they just got chewed to crap and um, uh, even though the box is essentially this is dead this box is kill right now this is um, this crack here I wouldn't use this box anymore if I saw that crack in it. I'd just throw it straight in the bin. Um, but if it was inside your blaster and you hadn't seen it yet, this could possibly still be functioning in this uh, form, although not for much longer. So just taking a look around on the other side, you can see there is a similar crack on the other side um, so both these bottom areas have cracked I haven't seen any up the top here there's no uh, no it doesn't look like that top section there is cracking however I did notice along the top here in this middle section there's a screw here and you may be able to see there is a small crack across the top of that thin section where the screw screws in so um, if I was a betting man I'd say if this fully broke off this would probably send it upwards and then this would snap probably up here in this, this thin point um, is my guess Let's also not forget the back end here. The spring retainer is really bowing out that back end. Um, I guess the uh, long and the short of it is if you spend too much time with an M120 in your APS box, you're gonna, it's going to die. But I mean, we've already proved this. This box is effectively dead. So I think the fair thing to do now is to send it to hell with an M140. So let's just whack the M140 in and just send it straight to hell. Alright, we got the M140 in here. Uh, everything's back in, repaired. Let's send it to hell. Make sure it fires. Yep, alright, here we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there it goes, oh, oh, oh yeah, that's the failure that we deserved, 
All right, it took the M140 to really send it to hell, but um, but it got there in the end. All right, <laughs> look at this carnage. Oh, the spring's on the floor. All right, so the whole cylinder head and front of the gearbox here has left the um, the mag terminal plate, which actually attaches to the front here, has sent it flying down into my fingers. So, uh, taken one for the content of the video there. Um, the, the original rack is missing the, the pickup tooth. We got two bevel gears that are short some teeth. The original piston head just, just disintegrated into smithereens. Um, the piston that I replaced it with, gone, just gone, I, I don't know where, it's gone, I'll find it somewhere. Uh, the spring was on the floor, here's the spring. Um, so yes, that is certainly <laughs> the carnage I was looking for. That's, that was a little piece, a little piece broke off first and then this flew off the tablet plate, um, of course, went, gone, the, the top half of it just disappeared, um, yeah, alright, well, thanks for watching guys, thanks for watching, uh, shout outs to the my coffee buying supporters who make this happen because I couldn't be able to afford to, <laughs> to just buy gearboxes to destroy uh, without them. Shout outs to Adam Hoy. Shout outs to John H. Uh, John H. actually bought me ten coffees and said buy a um, a, uh, a an Azrael's uh, tapetless cylinder head. So I guess I can't say no to that. I'm gonna have to do that. Uh, I'm gonna. Go source one of them from Azrael's shortly, um, and then that will be in a video in the future. Shout outs to there was one other guy that bought me a coffee. Rip, Rip bought me three coffees. Cheers. Uh, shout outs to all my coffee supporters. Also, uh, if you want to purchase a patch, you can hit me up on Facebook. We'll sort that out for you as well. Thanks for watching. This has been this has actually been one heck of a video in the making. This has taken me a long time to break this gearbox. I thought it would go sooner than that. But um nonetheless it lasted. The, the APS gearbox is surprisingly solid in the back end here down the bottom in amongst the gears but then they're a bit you know light on in the in the front here. Still better than a Wells. What can I say? Alright, thanks for watching. Peace.